Matt Ryan, Boston College. Devontae Freeman, Florida State. Julio Jones, Alabama. Mohamed Sanu, Rutgers. Taylor Gabriel, Abilene Christian. Austin Hooper, Stanford. Jake Matthews, Texas A&M. Andy Levitri, Oregon State. Alex Mack, Cal. Weston Schweitzer, San Jose State. Ryan Schrader, Dallas State. Trey Flowers, Arkansas. Adam Butler, Vanderbilt. Malcolm Brown, Texas. Dietrich Wise Jr., Arkansas. Kyle Van Noy, Brigham. Dante Hightower, the University of Alabama. Malcolm Butler, West Alabama. Patrick Chung, Oregon Ducks. Devin McCourty, RU. Deron Harmon, Rutgers. Johnson Batamosi, Stanford. And Batamosi was a special teams guy for a couple of teams in the past. Gets to start tonight because of the injuries. Ryan on a roll, throws and completes it to Julio Jones up at the 49 yard line, covered by Malcolm Butler. And that is a, a big time matchup. Yeah, it is indeed. You're going to come all the way across the field with the bootleg action coming back this way. That stretch run, the staple of this offense, and the entire defense has to flow that way, and it's going to be awfully difficult for any of these corners tonight, including Malcolm Butler, to keep up with Julio Jones. And off the fake, Ryan's going to air one out deep downfield for Jones, and it is incomplete. And there is no flag, so good coverage on the play. Harmon is there, second down and 10. Couldn't tell if they got their feet tangled, which would be okay, or if Harmon just got there early, I would say, yeah, it was more of the feet tangled variety. I agree with that call. Did you see Leo Jones hit the Jets, though? When Ryan threw that ball, it looked like it was going to be overthrown, and Jones just had another gear and ran right past Harmon. Still looking for his first touchdown of the season. Down and four from the 24-yard line. And Ryan fires, and that's deflected and incomplete. Trying to hit Jones over the middle. He got Johnson Batamosi getting the start tonight because of the injuries in the secondary. Covering on the play, and it's fourth down. Now you're going to have safety help back here. But for Batamosi, this has been a tremendous start. Here he is against Julio Jones. All he has to do is run underneath him. He doesn't have to worry about anything that goes over the top. That's the job of Daron Harmon. On the plastic grass. Third down and 20. Ryan throws underneath. Here's Jones, and Julio Jones can take the ball only to the 46-yard line. So that's going to be five yards shy of the first down. I thought it was interesting hearing some of the Patriots players talking about Julio Jones, a wide receiver, and the way he runs after the catch compared to Marshawn Lynch. And we have seen him run over some people, and here they go again. They're going to go for it again. Well, they went for it on fourth and seven to the right. Slip it to him, but he can barely get on track, and that is Johnson Batamosi who makes the stop. It'll be third down and five for Atlanta. How about Johnson Batamosi, a guy that was brought over here because they had some weaknesses on special teams. So Belichick makes a trade with the Lions for a sixth round pick. And all he's done is come out here in the last two games. You look at Julio Jones, top left of your screen there, and Julio is getting double. Ryan, good protection, going for the end zone, too deep. Julio Jones covered on the play by Devin McCourty. The safety staying with him. It's third down and seven. Now they're just missing a little bit. Watch Julio right here. Just ease down a little bit when he turns his head and then had to accelerate and couldn't quite catch up to it. And when Matt Ryan gets in trouble, you know where he wants to go in the red zone. They just cannot find Julio Jones. That's only the second time he wants to go there. It's only the second time he's even been targeted in the red zone this season no catches no touchdowns period third and seven and they got the better of the Patriots second and two turning around Jones makes the catch he gets ridden out there by Deron Harmon and that moves to change the first down yeah you've got to be careful you got to know who is where you don't have to worry about this flat right there you have a big lead. You want that cornerback, and that's some inexperience on the outside here. You want that cornerback and that style of defense too deep to get back underneath it. Johnson Batamosi at that time jumped the underneath route for no reason. 
Line of scrimmage is the 24 yard line. And Ryan throws underneath. There's Jones. And Jones will make it a first down and goal getting inside the 10 yard line. He's tackled there by Butler. Little pick play inside. You'll see the tight end crossing over and just trying to free up his partner. And now they start to get on a little bit of a roll by getting the football to Julio Jones. You know, yeah, you get down in the red zone, they're going to double team. That's right. They double team Calvin Johnson, and they double team Randy Moss, and they double team Jerry Rice. But sometimes you got to still throw it to them, give them a chance. Absolutely. A lot and get teams to jump off sides. Instead, you got Ryan off the fake, throwing and batted away in the end zone by Malcolm Butler. So an up and down year, as we stated earlier, from Malcolm. But boy, he's made some big plays. One right here, fourth and goal. All the way across right here. And Matt Ryan just does not get it in front of him. Julio had at least a step. And it was thrown to the body instead of in front. Allowed Butler to come up and make the play. He's pretty good in the end zone, isn't he? I think so. He's pretty good at the one-yard line, too, for sure. <laughs> One of them's a neutral site game in Mexico City. but. So you've got to pack and unpack. And that's caught for a first down. That underneath coverage doesn't have to worry about anything getting over the top of them. It was a game of 22, and they swing it out to the left. And Hardy this time gets taken down by Malcolm Butler. And Butler's just all over the field defensively. You never know who he's going to cover. I mean, that time he goes with Hardy, you guys seen very little action tonight. You know, and he wears his emotions on his sleeve, doesn't he? In our conversation, he admitted it. he lost a little confidence based on the whole thing of the signing of Stephon Gilmore and going to the Saints. Thought he was going to get traded, didn't, and got uncomfortable. He was very honest about it the other day. Here's Jones, of course, Malcolm Butler is a guy who shouldn't ever have to pick up a dinner check for the rest of his stay in, in New England. Long as he's living here, he shouldn't, <laughs> that's for sure. That was one of the really remarkable plays I, I it was just so stunning amazing you figured out who it was that had the ball in his hand I was like what just happened yeah, well I had to look over at Kelly Hayes and make sure we had it right because otherwise you would have called him the season at Carolina week nine second and four and that is called in and short of the goal line it's Julio Jones making the catch and that this is Ryan, and it is caught finally by Jones. So they're on the board. Malcolm Butler looked for a moment as if he was going to pick it, and finally they get into the end zone. 88 yards, 11 plays, and a five-minute drive. Talk about vice grips for hands. Watch Julio Jones reach over and then pull it over the top out of the hands of Malcolm Butler, who thought he had an interception. Just too big, too strong. We talked about it, double coverage or not, sometimes you just have to give that monster a chance. And I say that with all due respect. Extra point coming right now. So we made note of the fact through the game that Jones had not scored a touchdown. You know, he's got a celebration all planned out, but you don't do it when you're down 23 to 7. Not now. 409 to play in regulation. Brady 21 to 29 249 two more touchdowns and the Patriots certainly have righted that defensive ship tonight.